Hey guys, it's Steph, because who else would it be? And welcome back to another episode of Trying new makeup and hoping it doesn't suck. So yes, in today's video, we are trying out pretty much a full face of She Glam makeup. Now there is a sponsorship included in this video. It is a product that I've tried out for the last few weeks. It's their new powder foundation. And evidently I'm working with them, which means that I do like it. So that product I've tried before, Everything else is totally brand new to me. So if you like this kind of videos, if you like it when I throw new things on my face and see how everything ends up, then please make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, all of that. And um, let's get straight on into the video. You can't see, but my breast has just exploded out of my top there. <gasps> oh, this is a look. Yes. So like I said, I am working with She Glam to promote their new powder foundation. First of all, we're gonna go in with this primer here, which I've heard a lot about. It's like their birthday, the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. And yeah, I've heard so many good things about this. It looks almost like the Tatcha Primer, which you all know I love, but that stuff is pricey. She Glam is obviously a lot more affordable, but like, look, it's like this, got like a nice little like subtle perfumey smell to it, but nothing major. So I'm gonna rub that all over my face. I was worried for a second that it was gonna come out that color, but actually when you blend it in, it does sink into your skin really, really quickly. To be fair, the way it's blending in and the way it's sinking into my skin and making it look and feel, it actually really does remind me of the Tatcha, um, I forget what it's called, but it's like the skin-based primer stuff, which is obviously very pricey. But I feel like this actually gives me a bit more of a sheen on my skin. So now I'm gonna go in with their highbrow shaping wax and this is pretty much what it says on the tin. So I'm gonna take my little spoolie and just brush my brows up there just so they're not all like tangled together. And I'm gonna pick some of this up on my brush as well. Make sure I really load that up because I want the ends of my brows to be stuck up a little bit more. Okay, it's got a good grip to it. And as I'm like applying it over my brows, it's like fully slicking them down, which is good if you want like a laminated brow look or if you're doing something like me where you basically just like brush the ends of them up to kind of give you a bit more of like a facelift almost. Who needs facelifts when you can just brush your brows up? Am I right? And by the way, hopefully I don't have to like say this usual disclaimer, but I'm still going to. Obviously I am working with She Glam to promote their new powder foundation, but if there's any products here that I bought all of this with my own money, by the way, if there's anything I don't like, I will tell you guys, like they're working with me for the powder foundation. They're not working with me for everything else. So if I don't like something, I'll tell you, okay? Okay, there's no, there's no mirror in this. There we go. Yeah, you can see it like fully grips my brows and slicks them up here. I always find it funny when people are like severely offended by the way I do my brows, but like I'll probably change how I do them in like a month's time. And at the end of the day, they're just eyebrows. I have enough hair to do whatever I kind of want with them. Like there's a lot more pressing matters going on in the world as opposed to what Steph is doing with her massive eyebrows. Like I could probably shave them all off and within like a week they'd be back. So I just like to switch things up, you know? I'll probably look back at my videos in like a year's time and be like, what? <laughs> what was I doing there? But that's the whole fun of makeup. Okay, brows are in place. And once I sort of like slick them down, they do seem to be staying in place, which is pretty good. So, so far, that little like brow wax stuff actually looks pretty decent. So now I'm actually gonna go in with a little teeny tiny bit of concealer because I don't have a new like She Glam concealer to try out. But I'm gonna put a bit of concealer under my eyes, cover up a little bit of my microblading scar here, and then we're gonna go in with the powder foundation. So I'm just gonna cover up a couple of areas around here, around my nose. Okay, a little bit of concealer is on under the old eyeballs. So now we're gonna go in with the powder foundation. Now, like I said, I've tried this before, but I'm using a slightly different color today. I can't remember what shade I used before, but it was a little bit too light for me. So I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Nude. I also kind of got a different shade because I don't want to show you guys the crusty packaging because I am a freaking mess. So I thought I would show you a brand new one. You're welcome. But this is what it looks like. It's really nice packaging. It's got like a little lid that folds down here and then you just flip this little bad boy up underneath and obviously when you take this thing off, ASMR there, you've got a little mirror underneath, but you've also got this little sponge. I never normally use these sponges, but I tried it because that's how they sort of say to use it. And actually it was really kind of dope. And I like that they're like this little teardrop shape so you can really get right underneath your eyes. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Nude and 
gonna pick some of this up. And I mean, you guys will see in the camera and everything. This is actually quite full coverage, which you know I love. Normally, I'm not normally a powder sort of girl and I'm not normally like a sheer makeup sort of girl. So the fact that they've like met me in the middle and given me like a powder foundation that doesn't look like powder, but also gives me full coverage on the skin. Thank you very much. So let's get it in the macro here. I'm just gonna like swipe it and straight away, hello. Coverage, yes, thank you, please. So let's do, let's do a whole load of coverage today. I'm just like pressing it on and I'm also using it to kind of like set my under eyes because that's how I've actually been using this um, powder foundation more. I've been basically setting my makeup with it like while I've been doing like a bit of concealer under my base and then I've been using a brush to kind of set everything to give me a bit more coverage. But I want to show you guys how like they sort of tell you to use it. I like look, I mean, I definitely need to get rid of my mustache hairs a little bit. Thanks for reminding me. But it gives you like a really nice soft focus matte finish, but it's not like drying matte. So I'm gonna pop that all over the rest of my face. And yeah, you can just see, it's like mattifying down everything, but it's still giving me a nice little like healthy glow. Never in a million years did I think I'd be sitting here saying that I actually like really quite like a powder foundation. But if this is your kind of thing, they also do the balm foundation, which I freaking love. But if you like a powder foundation, this is actually probably one of the nicest ones I've tried for a while. But you guys may remember that I tried out another one, maybe like four videos or so ago, and I really wasn't keen on it. They've got loads of different shades for this as well, which is nice. But this is like one of those powder foundations that I can actually get on board with. I don't wanna put it around my nose too much because I do tend to get a little bit dry around there. But what I'm gonna do in a second is take a brush and just kind of go under my eyes and then also around my nose. But like even like around my chin, it actually looks really, really flawless and doesn't look drying at all. So I'm actually really, really liking this. And then what I'm gonna do is actually go in with a fluffy brush and pick up some of that. And basically use it as a setting powder. I'm gonna pop a little bit of that on the inner corner with the brush just so it gives me a little bit more coverage, but without it looking like too heavy or anything like that. Cause I don't tend to like too many powders under my eyes as it is. Yeah, once you blend it all out, even with a brush, if you want something a little bit more lightweight, it does work really, really well. Like I really like this under my eyes for adding a bit more coverage without it looking cakey. Yeah, you guys can see in the macro there, how everything is looking. It just looks like airbrushed basically which is great, I enjoy that. I'm actually gonna try a little bit of this as like a bronzer in a minute to give me a bit more coverage on the cheeks, which is what I tend to like doing anyway. Like I always use like um, foundation sticks and a slightly deeper color to give me a bit more of a bronze. So I might actually try that in a minute with one of these and see how it works. But yeah, I've been trying this out for the past few weeks and I really like it. That's why I'm working with them today. Um, but yeah, this is actually really, really good. For someone that doesn't normally like powder foundations, I actually enjoy that one. And it's not just because they're paying me and I'm working with them. I actually really, really quite like this. Okay, so like I said, I've just picked out this color here, which is in the shade Saddle. And I'm gonna try and use this as like a more full coverage bronzer. Cause I don't think I actually have like a powder bronzer to try out today. So I'm gonna try this. Okay, this looks promising. So one thing I always like to do, I used to get the worst little like block poor blackheads like right around this sort of area of my face. And the way I combated that wasn't by drinking more water or anything like that. I basically just started wearing more coverage on my cheeks. So whenever I can use more of like a full coverage bronzer or like a foundation stick that's in more of like a bronzy tone, I do. And I just sort of cover it up and pretend it never happened. I could have maybe gone with a slightly warmer color, but actually that's kind of like evening me out nicely. Like I don't want to be too like one dimensional. And obviously as you can see, like it blends out really, really nicely with a brush. It's just going to be a lot more sheer. So if you want to use it as a powder foundation, I would say use a little sponge or any sort of sponge or whatever. But if you want to use it as like an actual powder, then you can just use it with a brush because it does still go on really nicely and gives you a little bit of coverage without it looking like too, too intense. Actually, that's looking really good. That's actually a really good color. Like I was applying a very, very small amount to begin with, but actually I can go a little bit more ham with this because it's blending out so nicely and just kind of like warming my cheeks up a bit, to sort of match my body a bit more. That's looking really good. Like it's mattified everything down, but like I said, you can still see a nice little glow to my skin. It doesn't look dry or anything like that, especially on my nose. Like normally I tend to struggle with a lot of like dryness around my nose anyway, especially during like winter and autumn but this hasn't done that at all. This is working really well, actually. 
Okay, sweet. I'm going to be using that or maybe even a slightly deeper shade as just like a day-to-day -day bronzer because it's matte, but also like not dry looking. I really quite like that. Okay. Next is something that I am very excited to try. Fake freckles. You all know, and if you heard my chair squeak then, it was my chair, not my ass. But um, you all know how much I love fake freckles. I feel like I've tried out pretty much anything I can get my hands on to create fake freckles. And when I saw this, it reminded me a lot of Freck and like the Lottie London um, freckle pen. So let's have a little look. It seems really, really similar to Freck. And we all know Freck is like, you need to remortgage your house to get a bottle of Freck. Okay. See, it's a bit more subtle than Freck, but that might actually be good because it's like freckles and everything. So um, let's try this out. I didn't even say what it was called. It's just called the Freck Please Freckle Tin. Put some of this on my face. I'm gonna dot like a couple of them on and then press it in with my fingers. I normally do this before I've powdered down, so I don't know how it's actually gonna look. Good, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just gonna do some really rambunctious freckles. It's the name of my new album coming out in 2027. Yeah, it's actually a lot more sheer. It reminds me a bit of the Lottie London one, but I feel like this color is a bit better. Sometimes they can be a little bit orange, but this one is actually actually kind of looks like fake freckles to be fair. And yeah, it doesn't look too intense, which is really good. Oh, this might be a new favorite. Like I really like the misguided freckle pen as well. That's another one of my faves, but this is also really, really nice. Like that's it half blended in and then we just tap it in again. It just blends up so easily. Oh, I am very pleased with this. And this contains, um, doesn't say on the pot, I think, I Hang on, I just like throw my rubbish on the floor and then just clean it up afterwards. Uh, this is 5.2 mil of products. I'm pretty sure with Freck, like the full size, which is like 25 pounds, you get like two mil. This is a lot more affordable. But yeah, it looks good. I'm having no issues with it. I'm not having to like figure out how to make it work or whatever. This looks really nice. Oh, big fan of that. It actually looks kind of natural. Next, I'm gonna go in with this guy here. This is the Glam 101 Blush and Highlighter. So it's got a, can you guess? Leave a guess down below in the comments what this is about to be. A blush and a highlighter. And the color looks like it's fairly almost like corally and a bit like neutral looking. Uh, okay, that looks like, you can see it there. The little color there. Hopefully it'll give me like a little bit of warmth, nothing too intense. So again, I'm gonna take the same brush that I used for my bronzer a second ago and just pop that in. I feel like this will add a little bit more warmth to like the bronzer color that I used. And it did. That's such a really, really nice color to kind of work with bronzer. Oh, that's actually really pretty. It actually looks a lot nicer on the cheeks than it does in the pan. Like in the pan, it doesn't necessarily look like too much, but on the cheeks, it just gives you like a bit of life to your face without looking too extreme. I'm enjoying this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this highlighter here. Let's give it a swatch. Ooh, this looks good. My friends, this looks good. I'm just gonna wipe my hands on my legs. I need to do my washing in a second, so it's fine. Let's try this out. I'm gonna take my usual Zoeva brush. Oh, it looks quite pigmented. And a little bit of shine to my cheeks here. Oh, bitch. Oh, yes. That is so freaking intense. Um, I had this little sponge earlier from when I blended out my concealer. So I'm just gonna lightly press that over the top because I feel like I might have gone a little bit heavy handed there and just blend it in with that blusher as well. I really like this little duo here. Did I even say what color it was in? Uh, it's in the shade Seville. This one here, really, really nice. Okay, next we need to fill in these brows a little bit because right now they're just like, eh. So whatever that noise was, I'm gonna use the bloody hell. Where did I, hang on. Packaging's on the floor, obviously. The brows on demand two-in-one brow pencil. So this has a little skinny brow pencil on one side as demonstrated, de demonstrated words by my hand here. And then the reason why I got this is because it has a little pen kind of similar to my Urban Decay one. And the color's a little bit lighter than my Urban Decay one. So I'm gonna extend them. It's not as skinny of a nib as the Urban Decay one, but actually the color looks a bit better. Let's see how it settles in a second. Perhaps. 
Perhaps. Spock bras in full force. To all my Star Trek fans out there, may the force be with you with my freckled tint on my finger. So it actually looks a lot more subtle than the Urban Decay one, which isn't actually a bad thing, especially for brows. Let me just show you again. Like, it's quite sheer, but you can build it up, which is kind of nice. Right, I'm gonna clear that up a little bit, but that actually is quite a nice color. I quite enjoy that, to be fair. Right, okay. We're gonna do lips now, because I don't fully know how this lip combo will come out, so we're gonna try that. So this lip liner here is in the shade Momojo, which reminds me of the Powerpuff Girls and Mojo Jojo, if you know, you know. But this is called the Velvet Matte Lip Liner, and it's like this nice kind of like, sort of mauve kind of shade, the sort of shade that I'm usually into at the moment, and it's like an automatic lip liner, so I'm gonna try these. It's very pigmented. Such a really, really nice color. That is a really pretty color. Like, that's like my sort of everyday lip liner sort of color. Okay, next is this lipstick here, which actually feels like really, really expensive. I've held like 30 pound lipsticks before, and they actually don't feel as like heavy and weighty as this one does. So this one's in the shade Peony, and it's their Matte Allure Lipstick, and looks like this. Nice little pinky shade again. So I can pop that at the top. Doesn't really seem to have a smell or anything. Ooh, it feels like quite hydrating. Let me just show it in comparison to the lip liner there. So it's a little bit more purpley. But it doesn't feel like super drying and matte. It's got like a nice kind of like cream finish. Well, it's like a cream texture, but like a matte finish. Really like that color. As you guys know, this is like the color that I tend to go for these days. That feels really, really nice. And I barely used anything there. Okay, I'm now gonna take a little bit of concealer because you know I always do and just pop a little bit of that right in the center just to like push the center of my lips out a little bit more. Take my little sponge. Right, okay. I'm liking how this is turning out so far. So now I'm gonna go in with this palette here. This is called the Cosmic Crystal Five Color Eyeshadow Range and this is in the shade Tan Lines. And um, this looks a lot like the Hourglass powders, but obviously a whole lot cheaper, but I really, really like it. I'm gonna take a teeny little bit of my P. Louise base like I always do and just pat that out. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this lighter shade here on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm just gonna smoke that out in my crease for a second. I'm probably gonna do more of like a cool toned eye look today because I feel like this lip is a little bit more warm toned. So I kind of want to like balance it out with a little bit of coolness. I might even do a little bit of a halo eye. Who knows? I'm gonna go in with a mixture of these two colors here. I don't normally like palettes that are like just one big eyeshadow, but I do like it when you can just like mix two colors together quite easily. So I'm gonna take these, these two. I'm gonna take these two together. I'm really sorry for whatever that accent was. I'm gonna take those two together and really, really start to like blend that out in my crease because I think I wanna take this really nice dark shade there and do like a little halo eye with it. Ooh, I like this little combo, that's nice. A Little bit of warmth, but not too much. So I'm now gonna take a little slightly flatter brush here and pick up that darker color and really make sure I coat that brush there because I wanna basically like pop it on my outer corner, pop it on my inner corner and then blend it in with a bit of highlighter. Oh, okay, that's pigmented. So I'm just gonna press that on my outer corner. I love that kind of color. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more right into the inner corner of my eye as well. I'm basically doing like the same way that I do windscreen wiper motions with a fluffy brush. I'm basically just doing that with this brush here. So once my brush isn't like loaded up with too much product, I'm just kind of blending it into my crease a touch and going in like little like semi-circle motions. And you can see I've left a little bit of skin bed there because I'm gonna go back in with that highlighter that I used before. And just take that with my thingy and pop it right on in the center and pop it on. Try not to like click my fingers because I've got product on there. Yes, really nice. Really good color combo there. I'm now gonna use this Do It All Two-in-One Eyeliner. So we've, mm, what the hell, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Um, wait, we need to get like a protractor out or something right now because that literally created the straightest line ever. Did it again? Oh my, what's on the other side? Okay, so this is one of those little like liner 
like remove a thing, so I don't know how well this is gonna work. Very well, apparently. We need to try this. We need to try this, okay. Right, 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 right. Ugh. So let me just show you in a close up. It's like this weird little nib here that's like quite sharp and like stubby. Wait, I need to angle this properly. Okay. That actually looks like it's quite straight. Right, let's try to like bring it back in a bit. It's maybe not the best for like filling in your wing liner because the actual like nib is so sharp, but it has created quite a straight line. Okay, let me try this again. I feel like if I don't press as hard, it works a lot better. This is like using a freaking protractor on your eyeballs. Right, we need to do a little bit of clear up. So I'm gonna take this nib again. I mean, it did actually do something. It's also taken off my eyeshadow, but we can fix that. This is one of those products that like, I wouldn't necessarily feel like is a must, but also if you do your eyes first, especially, or maybe if you just like to just wear liner, this actually is quite helpful because you can just like sharpen everything up a little bit. I normally tend to do it with concealer anyway, and I do feel like I now need to add in a lot of my eyeshadow there, but it has, has sharpened it up quite a bit. That liner, I've actually not seen a liner like that before, like with how like sharp it is. <laughs> okay, it almost looks like a Stanley blade. Um, and it's like, it is very, very sharp and like hard. So it's probably not gonna be the most comfortable thing in the world, but let me just try it for my inner corner. Yeah, it creates a really, really straight line. Like if you don't wanna create like a completely straight line, this might not be the line of you, but if you like a wing that just like fully goes out in a straight line, this is actually quite nice. I don't know why I've never seen a nib like this before. It's like really, really firm and, and yeah, it just creates like really, really straight lines. So I could probably live without the little like remover side of things. If they exchange this for like a little like felt tip liner pen, I think that'd be a lot better, but I actually really quite like what that's done to my liner there. Yeah, if you struggle with like creating a, a straight wing or if you have like hooded eyes or whatever it is, maybe try something like this because I feel like you can't really go wrong. It kind of does it all for you. I'm actually impressed. All right, before we finish up, I have this mascara here to try. It's like a double-ended mascara. Again, I need to I need to sift through the boxes on my floor. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. Is that it? This is called the She Glam All-in-One Volume and Length Mascara. So it's like a double-ended boy. And this side just kind of has like a, almost like an hourglass wand. And then the other side has more of like a plastic curved wand as you can see here. So I'm gonna use that one first because this side should give me a bit more volume right at the base of my lashes. It's actually giving me quite a nice lift to my lashes. Like it's not making them look too volumized, but it is kind of like getting right at the base of all of my lashes. So I'm just gonna make sure everything's nicely coated. And then I'm gonna go in with the other side. So this is the more hourglass wand. Can you guys see that there? That actually looks really nice. I have nothing bad to say about this at all. I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of the um, more like plastic wand side and just run a little bit of that on my lower lashes just to define them a little bit. I'm actually quite impressed by that. Okay, so next, uh, last but not least actually, well hopefully not least, I have these lashes here and these are really, really cute. Can you guys see them here? They've got like little butterflies on some of these. I might have to do like a butterfly themed look or something at some point, but these are the All The Lashes Eight Pairs False Eyelash Set and they have just about like everything you can need. Like they've even got these little pink tipped lashes here. I don't know if you can necessarily tell, but they've got like a pink tip to them. I think I'm going to use maybe like these ones here. So I think I'm gonna use those, probably trim like a third of them off or something and then use them as like outer corner lashes. So I'm gonna pop those on, do the other eye, sort out my hair, and then I'll show you guys the finished look. See in a sec. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I have to say, these lashes, hella cheap, 
but like really freaking good. Like these lashes went on so nicely, actually better than some of my lashes that cost like 20 quid or something. So I'm very, very impressed with those. I love how this turned out so far. So it's currently around about 12, it's like 12, 24 in the afternoon at the moment. So I'm gonna leave this on my face for a little while. And obviously I'll include a macro to show you guys how everything is looking right now. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this on my face for X amount of time. And I will check back with you guys in a bit to see how everything looks. But so far, like, I'm loving this makeup. You've got a bit of a glow, but everything's still matte and like a medium to full coverage. Love the lip color, love the eyes. I'm very, very happy. So I will see you in however many hours I see you and I'll show you how everything looks. Okay, ta-da! See you in a sec. Okay, friends, you can tell the contacts are out, the hair is up, which means I'm sort of settling up for the night, and it is currently just gone at 10 past seven, so I've had this on for nearly seven hours now. And you can see that my lip liner and lipstick has worn off a bit, but obviously I've eaten a couple of times, had a couple of cups of tea. Um, I've got a couple of like rogue eyebrow hairs. So this stuff doesn't stick my brows down as well as the Biely brow shape does, but it still did a pretty good job considering I like slick them up to my hairline now. But um, the way everything's looking right now, I'm really, really impressed. Obviously I've got a little bit of a small line situation going on here, which I normally get anyway. But like these products, okay, I've not been grubby. I have washed my hands multiple times, let me assure you, but like everything's like stayed on my hands. And I was kind of thinking maybe I should like take that off just in case you guys think I'm like disgusting or whatever, but also it's kind of a good sign of how the makeup's worn like on my hands and everything. So this is how everything's looking. I am actually really, really impressed to be honest. Um, I really like how the freckles look. Like this is probably the most natural freckle pen I've actually tried. So I will continue to use that. It might I even overtake my misguided freckle pen which I use all the time day to day. So have a closer look. Obviously I'm looking a little bit crusty, a little bit more creasing around my under eyes and like I said I got a couple of rogue brow hairs there. Everything apart from like the slight creasing on my smile lines which you guys know happens anyway is actually looking pretty good. There's like a little bit of um, like missing bronzer and blush here and I think that's from when I was watching TV earlier. I was like this and it has slightly taken it off in this one area, but it's not too noticeable. And um, yeah, otherwise I'm really, really happy with how this looks. I'm gonna go to the shop in a minute and I don't feel bad about like wearing this makeup out and about because I still feel like it looks really, really good. So um, yeah, if you guys wanna check out anything from She Glam, check out the description box down below. And um, if there's anything else you want me to try out, let me know. Uh, I'm now going to go to the shop. I've been like trying to decide whether I should go and get McDonald's or whether I should go and get loads of garlic bread from the shop because health is wealth and all of that. So um, let me know what you'd rather choose. Loads of garlic breads, chicken Big Mac, because they're doing those at the moment, which I'm very excited about. I'll let you guys know in the comments what I decide to do. I might even do both. Who knows? McDonald's needs to do like a, uh, a garlic bread kind of situation. But anyway, I'm gonna go to the shops and I'm gonna settle up for the night and do some editing. So if you guys enjoyed this video or if you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up as always. And also subscribe to my channel if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. I love ya and I will see you, you, in the next one. Michael's like doing this weird thing where he like wants my attention and stands in a weird way, but anyway. I'm gonna leave it here, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.